Eventually, Lord Sri Ramchandra defeated Ravana and was victorious. Ram told Hanuman, because of you, we are victorious in this battle. Go and give Sita the message that I will soon be sending Vibhishan to bring her to reunite with me. Hanuman was so excited, entered into Sri Lanka. He met with Sita and gave her the news. Ravana is slain. Ram is victorious. He's waiting for you. Sita began to cry in such ecstasy. About 11 months, she was a prisoner of Ravana, 24 hours a day yearning to be reconnected with Ram. Every day he was threatening to kill her if she didn't surrender. Was over flooding with gratitude. She was praising Hanumanji because you have facilitated my beloved Lord to win this great war and because you have come on behalf of my Lord to give me this news. I shower all my blessings upon you that your devotion, your love, your heroism will live forever in the hearts of all devotees. I give you my heart, I give you my life, Hanuman. Please tell Ram that I'm waiting, waiting for that moment to see him again. So Hanuman jumped over the wall and gave Ram her message. Then Ram told Vibhishan that you and your wife should have her take a nice bath, because she didn't bathe the whole time. <laughs> and put on beautiful ornaments and clothes and put her on a palanquin to come to see me. Vibhishan and Sharala, they gave the news to Sita. She said, I don't want to take a bath, I just want to see Ram. They said, no, no, it is his order, you must. So they did an Abhishek for her and they put beautiful garments and jewels and placed her in a palanquin and brought her to where Ram was standing. And to everyone's great surprise, it was said that well, maybe everyone should go away so that Ram and Sita could meet privately. And Ram was just looking down and very indifferently said, no, everyone should stay. And Sita came down. Ram didn't even look at her. He was looking at the ground and he looked not happy at all. And Sita's heart was bursting with the desire to serve, to please, and to be loved by Ram once again. But Ram showed no emotion externally. And while looking at the ground, he said, Sita, you have been touched by another man, living with him for 11 months. I cannot take you back now. You could go anywhere you like. Sita burst into tears. Ram wouldn't even look at her. She said, Ram, 24 hours a day, I was only crying in separation. My heart was completely chased pure and faithful to you at every moment. How is it possible that you could have any doubt in me? If you tell me I can go anywhere I want, I will enter fire. If I in any way have displeased you, even for a moment, then I don't want to live. Build a pyre and I will enter into the fire. Everyone was looking at Ram and everyone was heartbroken. Everyone was seeing Sita crying and Everyone was crying except Ram. Even Lakshman was angry with Ram. But everyone was afraid to say anything to him because he looked so grave. Ram just indicated to Lakshman, make the fire. Lakshman's crying, his heart's breaking. He's, he's taking wood, he builds a fire. Sita circumambulates Ram. Her whole body is trembling. Her heart is totally broken and Hanuman, Sukriva, Angara, Vibhishan, they don't know what to say, they don't know what to do. Sita tells Ram that if for a single fraction of a moment I ever forgot you, or I ever considered to do anything but to please you, that let this body burn me. But if I have been for this entire 11 months completely chaste and pure and faithful for your pleasure and your service with my love for you, this fire cannot burn me. The fire was blazing. She circumambulated the fire three times and then with folded hands, she entered the fire. 
Ram was concealing his own emotions. His heart was totally breaking. When she entered the fire, even beyond his ability to restrain, tears started pouring from his eyes. And as she was in the fire, blaze surrounded by flames, Lord Brahma appeared on his carrier in the sky and proclaimed that Sita completely pure. Her chastity is the supreme emblem of her character. There should be no doubt. And suddenly her body glowed brighter than the fire and Agni the fire god escorted her out and told Sri Ram that her heart and her love for you is pure. And Ram and Sita held hands and then Ram for the first time, looked in Sita's eyes. And Sita looked in Ram's eyes. And the total love of both of their hearts poured from each other's eyes into each other's hearts. And they stood silently. And Ram told Sita, not for a moment did I have any doubts in you. Do you think if I had any questions, I would have built that bridge across the ocean? I would have traveled across the length and breadth of most of India, searching for you, crying for you, yearning for you, longing for you. Would I have sent Hanuman to jump off of the sea and risk his life? But I had to do this, because for all time to come, people should always know that your love is completely pure. And that even living in such a place as Sri Lanka, being harassed, threatened, intimidated, seduced, and tempted by the greatest riches and the greatest powers in all the universe, not for a moment did you ever consider anything except how to please me with your love. There can be no doubt ever. When Ram was saying this to Sita, it was breaking his heart more than hers to say it, harsh words but he did it so that she would be glorified for all eternity. And then it was time Sita and Ram reunited and were coming back to Ayodhya.